In this video, we'll do two typical examples we often encounter in introductory biology courses about the formation of mRNA. So in question number one, we're asked, the sequence of bases in a part of the DNA template strand is shown right here. What corresponding mRNA is produced? So as we all know that the DNA acts as a template for the production of mRNA, and that goes on to encode the protein later on in the process. So all we're worried about is transforming this DNA molecule into mRNA, and we know that it's DNA because it has thymine. mRNA doesn't have that. One thing that you need to keep in mind before you start is that RNA polymerase, which is the enzyme that actually makes the mRNA, adds nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. So it needs to start at the 3' prime end of the template strand of the DNA molecule. So when RNA polymerase is making the mRNA, it starts right here. And as it's forming the mRNA, it adds in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. So we're going to write down 5' prime, and C is complementary to G, G is complementary to C, A is complementary usually to thymine in DNA, but in mRNA or RNA, we don't see thymine. Instead, we see uracil. T is complementary with A, then we have G, once again A is uracil. So you will need to remember that when RNA is being made, you have to start at the 3' prime end of the template DNA strand. And the RNA polymerase enzyme moves from the 3' prime end to the 5' prime end. In question number two, what is the DNA template strand segment that codes for the mRNA segment with the nucleotide sequence. So this time they give us the mRNA segment and we need to find the complementary DNA, the template strand, the one that it was copied from. I'll write down 3 prime and 5 prime just to get that out of the way. We have 3 G's, that's 3 C's, 3 U's, that translates into 3 A's, and the three A's translates into the three T's. And T's are allowed in DNA. Remember, this is the DNA molecule. As far as I can recall, there's no way to go from mRNA to DNA, at least in humans. So this example is a hypothetical one just to test if you can recognize the complementary bases between DNA and mRNA.